Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so here we are today, 30 of September, to make the the review of last week trades using my profile analysis. Let's start. So GBP odd, last week trade, there was this big doji. So first there is this doji, nearly touching the level, so the breakout of this doji can be an entrance. So this one is a losing trade. After we have this railroad track and this railroad track entrance at the middle, retracement entry. Stop loss would have been 3 pips below so didn't trigger and maybe maybe it triggered today at the opening of the market yeah so this is another losing trade now let's look at euro odd euro odd nothing touched last week odd singapore odd singapore at the middle of the week there is this trade with a good size week right here so the entrance at the retracement is a confirmed trade or eventually at the breakout of this specific doji stop loss still here and this one is a winning trade made three reward obviously now let's look at odd gpy odd gpy it's a nice trade right here made a very strong pin bar touching the level which is a round number also retracement entry right here is a good winning trade right here so another win now let's look at odd New Zealand, uh, nothing touch during the week, odd CHF. So odd CHF, what do we have? We have only one level that touch and it's a nice pin bar but it's a very wide candlestick. So no retracement entry for this one so I don't count it. And whatever happened it should be only in profit even right now. Let's look at odd CAD. Odd CAD didn't touch any of the yellow white line, so no trade. Odd USD, we have a trade. So price fall down, arrow going up, so we are ready to take this trade. Go to the round number and make a significant week right here. So the entry is at the end of this specific for our candle and it made three reward on this one. So it's a winning trade. Now let's look at CAD, CHF, Singapore and gold. So let's start with CAD, nothing touch, CAD, CHF, CAD, GPY, CAD, GPY, we have a white line, very close right here. It's really very close to the, to the level, so I would have taken this trade. And this is a railroad track with big body. So you enter at the retracement, stop loss is below, and this one is a winning trade, obviously. CHF JPY, nothing touch, CHF Singapore, so let's see what happened. So CHF Singapore, we have price reverse before and it's between the trend line which has been a lot of touches of the trend line right here, right here. So this trend line for me is not really significant anymore, but it might contradict a bit this level. So when it goes up at this level, no breakout trade since it's a doji it's not a pin bar and after right here you have a, you have a railroad track but still it's between two levels so i wouldn't have taken this one so now let's look at singapore jpy nothing touch gold gold we have a trade during the week so what happened is long candle body going up so i would not have entered right here after we have a doji didn't break the doji, so no, entr no entrance right here too, but after you have a pin bar going down, a bearish pin bar right here, and this is your entry point, eventually at the retracement or at the breakout. And this one is a winning trade. Silver. Silver touch the level during the week, this level right here. So what happened is, it made a pin bar and this pin bar is a losing trade but after it made a second pin bar and this pin bar is a winning trade so we have one win one loss 
So, so far we have 6 wins, 3 losses, and the reward is 3, so 6, six times 3 it's 18 reward against 3 losses. So, I repeat this one, pin bar, eventually breakout entry right here, or retracement entry. If it's a pin bar, I really advise strongly to take the retracement entry, and this would have made like maybe 10 reward on the retracement entry. So it's a good one. Now, this one didn't touch, let's look at Europair. So let's start with Euro Zar, nothing touch, Euro Knock. Euro Knock. Okay, so Euro Knock, what do we have? We have a very long time trade. So we have the level, the dodgy right here, the dodgy breaking up, this is our entry. The stop loss is three, 2 to 3 pips below the spike right here. And it didn't trigger because this is a very thin spike. Retest the level. And after we are still in, still in a trade, so it's not a win, it's not a loss, it's still running actually. And when it's long time ranging like that, maybe you can get out at break even aside of holding the trade for so so long like that. Now Euro Hong Kong, uh, nothing touch. Euro Singapore, nothing touch. Euro JPY, one two three four five, nothing touch. Euro New Zealand, Euro New Zealand, we have. We have one signal, it's a losing trade right here. Pin bar, confirmed, entrance at the end of this pin bar, stop loss right here, and it's a losing trade. Euro CHF, Euro CHF, nothing touch. Uh, Euro CAD, Euro CAD, it touched on Friday, no, before, Thursday, made a qualified pin bar and came back to it. So it's still running and uh, very close to the stop loss right now. I will count it as a loss. Worst case scenario, and we move on to Euro USD. So Euro USD, only one level touch during the week. This one, and we have a pin bar qualified, regression entry, losing trade, and just after we have a doji didn't break, so no entrance. A pin bar, eventually entrance right here, or eventually at this one pin bar right here. So this makes it, uh, tac, tac, how many pips? Maybe we have been taken out, this one. No, it's only 1.8 pips, so 2 to 3 pips, you're still in the trade. And you have around 1 reward. So 1 loss and 1 running that I don't count. Now let's look at GBP. So GBP USD. Touch level, made the dodgy. You can eventually have lost this specific trade, so I will count it as a loss. And after what happened, uh, nothing really because it's between the level. So now, for this week, I wait with a lot of interest this specific level, just below the round number, because this should be a very nice level to buy. So that's my, my opportunity for maybe Maybe today because there is a big news for GBP, so I will check that today. So only one loss, worst case scenario on GBP USD. GBP CHF. GBP CHF. We have a railroad track right here. And a retracement entry right here. Didn't make too really well, so it's another losing trade. And we have a winning trade at the beginning of the week. So this level, specific very nice little dodgy, and it continued to go down, so our entry is at the breakout of this dodgy, going down, and stop loss is above right here. It's a winning trade. GBP CAD down. GBP CAD made a pin bar, so we have one losing trade. GBP JPY, both direction. Trend line, so the trend line made a very nice railroad track like that at the level. So when I see that, I enter, try to enter the retracement, and uh, this is a winning trade. But since it didn't touch exactly the retracement, I will not count it. You know me, I search the worst case scenario. But this is a very nice trade that made good profit, and nothing else touch check yeah oh but I forget there was trade running from last week actually so there is this one from GBP GPY it was running and it's a winning trade from last week I didn't count it on last week and it made profit this week so I counted one winning GBP CAD we had the same actually 
we had this level right here and it's another winning GBPCHF last week had this M pattern didn't touch the level so I don't count this one and GBPUSD had this trade running from last week and it was a nice winning as you can see it made maybe 6-7 six, six, reward so those trades are accountable for this specific profit so we were on GBP GPY, GBP New Zealand now, GBP New Zealand it's the same last week exactly at the end of the week we have this pin bar touching the round number and this was a trade and it's a winning trade from last week last week on Friday that run during the weekend and after since the power was going down nicely after that you can eventually no there is no real pattern here to enter for a buy so you have no buy entry right here but after those specific two doji you have a pattern to enter for a sell right here and this one is a winning trade again so another winning trade going down and uh, at the level we have a railroad track and this one is a losing trade so we have two win on this chart and one loss now let's look at GBP Singapore. GBP Singapore we have a trade from last week right here stop loss was there and it made a 7, 8, 3, 1 so one win and after at this specific level for a buy um, the retracement didn't work out right here retracement right here so this is a losing trade and the next level made a pin bar right here and same so it's a second losing trade for this one now let's look at Euro GBP. Euro GBP. We had this, but it's not really confirmed railroad track, so we don't have any trade actually right here. GBP try, nothing touch. GBP sec, nothing touch either. And GBP knock, nothing. So let's look at New Zealand. So New Zealand uh, knock GPY first, nothing. New Zealand GPY. We have a trade but the retracement didn't trigger so I don't count it from Friday would have run right now but it's not NZDCHF nothing NZDCAD this one so on Monday we had this nice dodgy from Friday and it reversed from there so we couldn't enter the trade we couldn't enter the trade right here it would have been a very nice one but after what we have is this very nice pin bar going up at the level and eventually around 30 to 40 percent of the you have an entrance for the retracement and this is a winning trade it trigger because if you take only half of the total length of this candle it will give you around 30 so the entry is exactly at the end of the candle right here and it made 90 pips so we're good to go it's a nice winning trade and the D USD didn't touch the level, it was on Friday last week very very close, you could have eventually taken this trade but during the weekend it's better to not enter when it's too close like that and it was a winning but I don't count it and that's it for last week on New Zealand now let's go on US USD pairs so USD CAD nothing touch USD JPY nothing touch USD CHF nothing touch USD Singapore nothing really touch you could eventually trade the breakout of this doji and it would have been like one reward only so it's still running so I don't count it yet as a win nor as a loss we have this one nice one on USDSR uh, it made the railroad track even if the, this candle is not as big as the first one it's a quite good one it might spike a little bit up so I wait a retest, retest of the high right here and after to fall so I don't count it but this, you might have a trade running with this one now let's look at sec gpy sec gpy touch during the news before the level at the round number and get out from there so no trade touch the level on this one usd polonia nothing usd dkk no xh no usd hf nothing and usd mexico nothing too so that's it for the week so the account is 13 winning trade times 3 reward so 39 reward and 12 losing trade so 39 minus 12 
27 reward profits times 2% it's equal 54% profit of your account when you potential of 54% when you take all the trade following my analysis and the swing trading strategy now let's look at the pending order strategy so no trade no trade it will be quick USD polo no trade this one no trade USD are no trade Singapore daily chart no trade outside the envelope no 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 so nothing on USD New Zealand nothing New Zealand CAD New Zealand CAD we have one touch at the envelope so at the envelope I can count it because uh, the price might have been uh, the envelope might be a bit before just before so we can count this one and so it's one win New Zealand CHF no trade New Zealand GPY no trade outside the envelope touching it and knock GPY no trade GBP now so GBP we have the GBP USD from last week GBP USD from last week is this level right here after outside the envelope no trade GBP CHF no level outside the envelope touch GBP CAD let me check me zoom in this one touch at the envelope and it made uh, only 39 pips so this is a losing trade GBP GPY nothing GBP New Zealand we have one trade running it touched the level the stop loss would have been 50 pips so it didn't trigger the stop loss at all and now we are 1.5 reward so I don't count it but we have a good reward running for this one GBP Singapore so this is the entry point right here it made 80 84 and would have been 100 but it made two reward so two reward means you finish break even for this one so no trade and after the second level didn't took us out because it made only 33 and the stop loss was around 40 pips so this one is run running in profit right now so I don't count it so we have two trade running in profit right now now let's check Euro GBP Euro GBP outside the envelope didn't touch anything this one no this one no and that's it for GBP let's go on Euro <coughs> So Euro, this one was way before the envelope, so no train. Eurocad, uh, no, before the envelope. Euro CHF, nothing. Euro New Zealand, Euro New Zealand, nothing outside the envelope. Euro GPY, no trade. Euro Singapore, no trade. Euro Hong Kong, no. How about this? No, this one was inside the envelope, so no trade. Tac. Let's check CAD, GPY, Singapore and gold. So nothing here. This was a trade. For silver, the stop loss would have been 17 and it didn't trigger. So we are good, this is a winning trade. Gold, gold touch outside the envelope, so this is a winning trade also obviously it didn't touch the stop loss Singapore JPY nothing CHF Singapore outside the envelope there is nothing CHF JPY no CAD JPY mm, no didn't touch the level CAD CHF nothing let's finish with Australian dollar pairs so nothing outside the envelope hot CAD down nothing odd chf odd chf we have one winning trade right here touch the level made against it tac 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 only 10 pips and the stop loss would have been 15 and it made obviously four rewards so it's obviously a winning trade odd new zealand didn't touch anything odd gpy it was before the envelope so there is no trade Odd Singapore, same. Euro odd, uh, no trade. GBP odd. GBP odd, nothing inside the envelope. Outside the envelope, sorry. So that's it for the envelope strategy.
So the total result is 5 win, 1 loss, 3 reward, so 15 reward, minus 1, 14, times 2%, your trading size, it is 28% profit for the pending order. So 54% with the swing trading strategy, plus 28% with the pending orders, it makes a total of 82% profit for the weak potential profit using my analysis and those two strategies. I wish you the best, see you next week, bye! This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.